Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Build. Today we're going to build a sawmill because, well, besides food, the main resource this village is going to have is wood. And they're going to have plenty of logs from the forest that I'm yet to actually put up around the outskirts. But much of the building material I've used has been planks. They need a way to manufacture these planks, get it from the logs and that is a sawmill. I decided that I would use the space next to the windmill for this because of course sawmills usually have a water wheel to power them but there's no river running by our village so they need to invest in a different way of powering that saw and the way that I thought they would do that is through the windmill. And this was a very uneven ground so I set off first by building a raised platform out of logs and some crisscross wood sections before filling in a floor on this platform for us to build the actual sawmill itself on. Coming around to the other side you can see me putting up a guard rail just to add a bit of variation and then coming up with the logs to build the roof that will cover over the work area. I decided not to put walls on this building because if it was a sawmill it would be very loud and there would be a lot of dust coming from the machine at work. And you wouldn't want that all to be clogged up in a room, you want to be able to disperse that away. And that's why I thought we shouldn't put walls on this building. But I used logs to support a dark wood stair roof. So this is actually probably one of the more expensive buildings in this village. The roof comes up so high it's even off the top of the screen there. After that I dotted some torches inside to light it up and built the connection to the windmill that will power our sawmill. And I then had to think about how I was going to make the saw itself until finally I settled on using a cobblestone wall block because it seemed like a thin edged blade. You can see that in the distance there. I then built a conveyor belt system that they would push the logs across to get the wooden planks out as well as some piles of wooden planks that have been made but not yet delivered or sold. And after that it was time to build a house for the sawmill. The person who runs the sawmill, or owns it I should say, there will probably be more than one person working there, for him to live in. So I built a smallish house because that was an expensive building behind him he built, so he won't have a lot of money left over for a grand place to live following in a very similar building style to the houses I've previously used the little arches over the doors and the use of logs and steps and buttons just to break up the flat surface so we all know the worst thing you can do is have a flat surface I went around to the other side and did the same thing I also added a back entrance with the idea of having a walkway from here up to the sawmill that would also be where the logs are delivered they need to be cut and see me dotting in the start of that path there. I then came around and added another thatched roof effect as I've become very partial to that effect and this time to make it a bit different I decided to go with a pyramidal shape so I haven't actually done that on any of the thatched roofs so far they've all been triangular two slopes so I decided to build a four sloped one you can see me going around with the hoe, the seeds, the bone meal and getting that wheat up. Because so I really think that is a very good effect for a poor building. So you're probably going to see that coming up quite a lot in this build anyway. Finishing off there, I then went around with the light stone wood to mark off the edges and cover up the dirt. And after that, I knocked in the roots. Actually no, I'm getting ahead of myself. I built a small walkway coming down from the raised sawmill to the back of the house and then I went to mark out a long path that will connect to the main street and that's where all the logs are going to get built and actually I got a bit of my head ahead of myself and I had to come back and fill a bit in then fill the rest with gravel and finally I built some logs that have been delivered the still not yet cut they're waiting to be processed and with that we were done so there we have it guys the sawmill is finished and we managed to use up 
this space between the farmhouse and the bakery. So it's a doubly well done job. I'll come over here and show you the interior a bit closer. It was difficult for me, I wasn't sure quite how I could make this blade. But I think I found the best block I could use, that's as near to a blade as I think I'm going to get with the block type in Minecraft. I'm happy with how this has turned out, it was a bit of a different building because it had to be so close to the windmill but still look important itself and that's hard next to a tower and structure like this but I think it came off well. There's not much depth you can add to a building like this that doesn't have any walls but I'm very happy with the house style we use, it's the same as all the other houses so it fits in well but it's not exactly the same, it's got a little bit of difference which just makes it that bit more unique and special, which I like. Our village is really coming on now, look at that. Remember when it was just a windmill. I think the next one I'm going to do is snake this road back up here. I'll probably put two houses here, and then a forest behind them. And then after that we'll bring down here. We'll probably put a marketplace, a church, a mine entrance, maybe. And then after that, it'll just be the manor house and the god house. But they'll be a bit further away from this complex of buildings. Quite like the idea of having the windmill as the centerpiece of the town. So I'm going to try and loop the road around the back of it and fill all this area with buildings. But as usual, if you have any requests or ideas or have seen any photos of buildings you think would fit in here, let me know in the comments section. If you want to see more of this, hit like. If you don't, hit dislike. It's the only way I can tell what you guys want to see. And I think that's it, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.